All right, all right. Hello, Binanceians. Today, I am going to show you how to do a deposit and a withdrawal on Binance. So from anywhere on the website, we just come up here where it says funds. We can view our balances, our transaction history, and then we can conduct a deposit or withdrawal. First, we're going to do a withdrawal and then we're going to deposit it back into Binance. So we'll go to the withdrawal page here and you can see here over on the right, a list of previous withdrawals that I have done. Here we have a drop down window and we simply search for whichever coin it is that we would like to withdraw. I'm going to go to Binance coin. Whenever you do a withdrawal or a deposit, make sure you read all the instructions here. It's very important. I'm gonna give you one uh, really good example why. Real quick, let's just jump over to deposits and we'll go to Monero. And as you can see here, we have a big red box with a warning sign. It's saying, do not send any Monero to Binance without a payment ID. So we click here that we understand. We go to continue deposit. And then right here, we have another warning sign. This is the payment ID. This is the deposit address. Because Monero is a privacy coin, so it can't be tracked like other coins. So this payment ID tells Binance which user's account to put the Monero in. And if you do not put it, your Monero will be gone into oblivion. So I stress again, make sure you carefully read the instructions and follow the instructions. Okay, so here we are back at, oh, we're in the deposit page. Let's jump over to withdrawals. We're on Binance coin. And so I don't save addresses in here. So I'll jump over to my Ether wallet and I will copy my Ether wallet address. Come back here to Binance. Okay, then I deposit my address here. Now, one thing that I personally do whenever I send or receive funds and I paste an address, I always check the first three, preferably four characters and the last four and I go back and I double check. So 0x1e and d29e. 0x1e and d29e. That assures that I have pasted the full address in and I didn't do a copy like this where I accidentally didn't copy one character. So I do have the full address in here and then we come down here and we put in the amount. I have 3.14 available. If I click on this, it will load my full amount of Binance coin and it tells me my transaction fee down here. So I'm going to lose over a dollar just doing this transaction and I will receive just 3.01. For your sakes, I am willing to spend that dollar. So then we click submit and we have to put in our Google authentication code. One thing I like about Binance is you don't even have to click submit. Once you put the 2FA in, it automatically loads. So now they have sent me a confirmation email. So I'll head over to my email address and there it is right there. Go ahead and click on that. And you can see in the upper right that I have my anti-phishing code in place. So I verify that this email is actually from Binance. Then I come down here and simply confirm the withdrawal. My withdrawal request has been successful. Okay, so I'll close that and I'll head back over to Binance. And right here on the top of the transactions page, I can view the status. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the page. Now the transaction is processing. Also, you can view your transactions up here, but I find it's just a little bit more convenient to do it from this page. If I wanna view the transaction on the blockchain, I click here. So I have the address, but I don't have a transaction ID yet. Okay, here it is. Uh, it took a few minutes, but I do finally have my transaction ID here and it's still processing. I'll go ahead and click on that. And we can keep tabs on the status of the transaction. So I'll speed this recording up and we'll come back when it's done. So this my transaction has been included into the block. Okay, so now we have success with live block confirmations. Then you can go to your wallet and view wallet information, ledger wallet.
Okay, so I am going to load BNB into my Ethereum wallet and I do that by coming over here to the BNB page on Etherscan, copy the contract address, head back over to my wallet, add it in, token symbol, BNB, decimals I believe are seven. Ah, okay. So this token is already added as a default. Click the load buttons. And just click load here. And there it is, it has been deposited into my wallet. Okay, I've refreshed the page and it says my transaction has been completed. So over here on Etherscan, refresh the page. We have success with 40 block confirmations. And then we come over here to my Ether wallet and I am going to click on send Ether tokens, collect through Ledger. And you wanna make sure that when you're withdrawing ERC20 tokens that you do have an Ethereum balance because you're gonna need it to pay for gas. Unlock your wallet, then I come here to this drop down. There's my BNB. I click the amount that I want to send. In this case, I'm gonna send the entire balance. Okay, then we go back to Binance to get our deposit address. We're here back at Binance Coin. Here is my deposit address. I click copy and I look at the first four characters and the last four. So we have 0x46 and 436C. 0x46 and 436C. I pasted the entire address. Here, this is uh, my Chrome browser. I, I don't usually use Chrome. I just use it to keep a few sites organized, mostly pertaining to my Ethereum transactions. And I have bookmarked all of these to prevent me from any type of phishing. So we go here to the Ethereum gas station, and this will give you recent stats on Ethereum transactions and how much they cost. What you want to pay attention to is these prices right over here depending on how fast you want your transaction to happen i usually do a safe low standard here is 5.5 let's go ahead and do 5.5 go back to your ether wallet adjust your GUI. okay so we have our GUI set at six and you'll see in the information here your gas limit if you're sending ethereum should be twenty-one thousand. if you're sending tokens it should be 200,000 okay the transaction has been broadcast to the network I can check the transaction status here transaction is pending we go back to Binance we can either go to our transaction history to view deposits or we can just refresh this page all right, now it shows the transaction is going through. It is confirming. Please take a little bit of patience, but it shouldn't be too long. So I'll be back when it's complete. Okay, refreshing the page. I have 30 block confirmations. That's all that Binance waits for. So we'll come over and refresh this page. And there you have it. My BNB has been deposited back into my Binance account. So bada boom, bada bing, my friends. That is how you withdraw and deposit on Binance. Thank you for watching. Be very careful. Make sure you always read the instructions and always check your addresses. Have a great day.